All right. First question, could you spell me your first and last name? Uh, my name is Andrew Craik, A-N-D-R-E-W, uh, Craik, K-R-A-I-C-K. And what position do you play, Andrew? Uh, defensive end. All right. And you're a senior, right? Yep. Talk about the way this defense played versus Kokomo, because you, you knew they're a difficult offense to prepare for. They come in averaging a bunch of points. Uh, what was the key to stopping them? Um, kind of having Wayne the week before really helped us since Kokomo and Wayne run basically the same offense. Um, you can, we, we, started having, we started struggling against Wayne, so once we figured, found our rhythm, we kind of knew what to do, how to stop this, you know, how to prevent this. As far as uh, carrying that on, how do you continue to keep up the, the defensive intensity and the defensive execution throughout the playoffs? Um, scout team. You know, scout players, they really you know, they think they're just you know, junior, uh, you know, sophomores and freshmen, but really they are a key component to this defense, and without them we couldn't run our defense effectively and keep the tempo up. You know, throughout the season, uh, on Friday nights, what's been the key, maybe X's and O's for you guys defensively? Because, you know, you stopped Rod Smith pretty well. Uh, you, you've answered the bell, I guess I should say, on a lot of different occasions. Um, our coaching staff, they come in, they're here 20 hours every weekend after the game. They're here, spend all day Saturday, half the day Sunday. They uh, give us booklets with uh, game plans, adjustments. So they give, we, you know, X's and O's, I guess. Tell me about Northside. Uh, you played them in Week Six. Uh, you know you won by thirty, but uh, they're a much better team than now than when you faced them earlier. Um, yeah, you can't really take them for granted. Um, Coach Fails showed us a stat that nine teams around the area or around the state throughout the playoffs, first round of sectionals, they uh, had gotten smashed the first game, and then second game they came back and dominated. So we kind of that kind of showed us like opened up our eyes and showed that you know upsets can happen. I guess. As far as you go, well, what's going to be the biggest key on Friday night? Um, sticking together, basically, like we did on uh, last Friday. You know, we got us, we got real pumped up about it, and we just got to keep the tempo up and the excitement up.